Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This will be my Thor 5 video. Chris Hemsworth, Taika Waititi have been talking about it. There was a behind the scenes book that a lot of the trades are quoting now that Thor 5 is in development at Marvel. Separately, Chris Hemsworth has also been talking about his final movie as Thor, but I think that's meant to be something separate like Avengers 5 Kang Dynasty in Avengers 6 Secret Wars. Don't worry, we'll explain everything. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There are a lot of rumors about Marvel doing like a soft reboot after Avengers 6 Secret Wars, like sort of retuning the universe and recasting people if they need to, changing backstories if they have to. They've already rebooted Spider-Man so many different times and brought those characters back, so just imagine like a bigger version of that in the next 20 years. What the trades are reporting is Taika Waititi talking about what they would do after Thor 4 Love and Thunder, and this is his quote. He says, what's left to do with him talking about Thor himself? It's got to be something else that feels like it's carrying on with the evolution of the character, but still in a very fun way and still giving him things to come up against that feel like they're building on obstacles that he has to overcome. I don't think we can have a villain that's weaker than Hela. I feel like we need to have a step up from there and add a villain that's somehow more formidable. They've already set up this arc with Hercules and the gods going after Thor trying to kill him. I'll explain that in a second. That might wind up being a completely separate thing because Taika Waititi was talking about that recently, saying that he wasn't going to be involved with that. We're going to introduce Hercules and um, that made no sense to me. I don't even know the <laughs> character in Marvel, but uh, apparently it is. And um, it, uh, it is good. I know it's opening up a whole new thing, uh, which... I won't be invited to go come and be a part of it, but I can, I'm happy for everyone who loves Greek. In talking more about the lead up into the next Avengers movies, that's sort of the beginning of this Kang multiverse new Avengers stuff all coming together in a clearer way. Marvel Phase 5 is sort of like the march as they bring them all slowly together by the end of Marvel Phase 5, so the beginning of Marvel Phase 6, there is a version of the new Avengers team. That'll start to happen in Captain America 4 New World Order, like the Falcon Captain America will slowly start putting his quote unquote team together, and that is the new Avengers team. And currently right now, Thor is one of the few remaining original core Avengers. I just did a bunch of Captain America 4 New World Order and Thunderbolts videos because there's a big World War Hulk plot, big Hulk related plot that's flowing through those with Red Hulk, with Bruce Banner's Hulk, and with Scar, son of Hulk. Just in terms of Chris Hemsworth's character, we last saw him at the end of Thor Love and Thunder, and at the end of that movie he agreed to raise Gore's resurrected, now super child named Love, resurrected by Eternity, the child of Eternity, that's where her superpowers came from. And they just go on adventures together around the universe helping people, giving the movie its title. They are both Love and Thunder going around helping people. Here's where we start to get to the plot of the next Thor movie. Like, Love will not be a big character in that, but when the events of the movie pick up, Thor will still be doing what he's doing now, going around helping people. The Jane Foster stuff, sacrificing herself and then going to Valhalla when she dies, is also meant to be more of an Avengers 6 Secret Wars teaser. Eventually, she will come back. Per the rules they set up in Moon Knight, I think the reason she ended up there is because she formed a contract with the Hammer, like even though Moon Knight himself did not believe in the Egyptian afterlife, he formed a contract with Khonshu to become Moon Knight, and that's why he wound up in the Duat. As far as I know, she, Heimdall, the original Loki from the 616 Marvel Universe, not coming back during Thor 5 is always possible, but I think it's meant to be more of a Secret Wars teaser, and eventually we will see versions of them slowly cameo in other future movies. Some of them won't come back permanently, some of them will just be cameos. But that's the whole reason why they tease Valhalla in another dimension, like, oh, they're all still here, they can come back to the main MCU dimension eventually. The Hercules post credit scene is really just about setting up the next Thor movie, not so much about Avengers 5 King Dynasty or Avengers 6 Secret Wars, but Hercules might also appear in Secret Wars in a cameo too. Do you understand me, Hercules? Do you understand me, my son? Yes, father. Because every character in the history of Marvel is supposed to have some kind of cameo in that movie. Like, think the portal scene from Avengers Endgame times 100. You want more? Yes. Yes, we wanted more. Bring every single character ever. Even Howard the Duck was in the portal scene in Avengers Endgame. So if Howard the Duck made it into the first version of that, you have to imagine the most obscure of characters will probably make it into the Secret Wars version of that. But when Zeus tells Hercules to go kill Thor and creates this larger plan to make the lesser beings, normal people, fear the gods again, because the whole theme in the movie is that people have turned away from the gods, they also address that during Moon Knight as well. Way fewer people across the universe believe in gods. So as a way to make the people fear them again, Zeus is having Hercules kill Thor in broad daylight, so to speak. No more. They will fear us again. When Thor Odinson falls from the sky. 
and it's more of a Thor versus all the other gods kind of movie, like a War of Realms type of conflict, a mini version of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame where it's all about Thor versus the rest of the gods. Which is kind of funny because that's kind of what they set Thor Love and Thunder up to be, like Gore versus all the other gods. During that movie, Thor even jokes about how all the other gods are going to hate them and want to kill them now. Now they're just paying that off. Like, oh yeah, they're definitely coming to try and kill you. In the comics, Hercules was meant to be about as powerful as Thor, just like Thor in the comics too. He also gained greater cosmic levels of power to become God of Gods. Rune King Thor is a good example of that, like Thor becoming the god of all gods, that's how powerful he was. During Chaos War, more recently in the comics, Hercules also became god of all gods. So even though their powers work very differently, they're kind of the same power level basically. Even if you haven't read a lot of Hercules comics in the past, MCU Hercules powers are similar to a lot of the other pop culture depictions of Hercules. He starts out as a demigod, son of Zeus and a human woman, and throughout his adventures attains more power and eventually has to choose whether to live the rest of his existence as a full-on god, like 100% god, or pull a Thor in Avengers Endgame and just continue having adventures on his own on ground level. Thor's arc in the MCU has been pretty much that, like, do you accept your responsibility to become king of your people, become more of an actual god to your people, or do you just continue having fun across the universe? Since Chris Hemsworth is saying that that next Thor movie versus Hercules and the gods is meant to be his last time as the character. What is Chris Hemsworth's last Marvel movie? And it may be my last, I don't know. It was a, a wild and fun and wacky experience as all. Played that character for 10, 11 years now and each time it's been new and exciting and, and this, this was no exception to that. It felt very fresh and it felt like we were trying something we hadn't tried before. He wasn't quite himself and he had some work to do so he leaves that film and embarks on a journey of self-discovery and that's where we pick this up. Most people think that means that Hercules is going to be successful in killing him but I don't think that that's what they're going with. Also I think that Chris Hemsworth is being a little misleading when he's saying he's leaving the character like Hugh Jackman left Wolverine after Logan, Patrick Stewart also left Professor X after Logan but here they are playing their characters again a lot. Deadpool 3 is like a full-on Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Based on countless other examples of stuff like this happening in previous movies, my early theory right now is that when Hercules and Thor start the movie battling it out, eventually they'll have their quote unquote Martha moment post all the memes, like Thor will convince Hercules that they're both total bros. They're the two biggest himbos in the Marvel Universe, why wouldn't they become drinking bros at some point? And they'll have a similar arc with their relationship in the movies that they did in the comics. Like when Hercules was first introduced in the comics, he became more of a foil for Thor. They battled it out quite a bit. Eventually they became good friends and just started having lots of fun together. Just let's go around, smash a bunch of alien cultures and then get really drunk afterwards. And by the end of his last movie, he will accept the greater cosmic role and become a little bit more like Rune King Thor in the way he fit within the Marvel Universe. In more of a God of Gods cosmic kind of role. And that'll be how they explain why Thor isn't around day to day all the time for regular movies anymore, but how he can still come back for cameos occasionally in the future when they really want him. Leaving room for Hercules in the MCU to eventually fill Thor's role on that new Avengers team like he did in the comics. I honestly, they put a chip in my brain that will explode if I answer any of your questions. During the first Red Hulk arc in the comics, which we're getting ready for in the MCU, the Incredible Hercules title even took over for the Thor book in the comics. A lot of the plot of Kang Dynasty is based on Avengers Kang War in the comics, which is a little bit different, but a lot of the new Avengers team in Kang War is the Avengers team that we're going to see in the MCU. Like Hercules was on the team, Falcon Captain America was on the team, Spider-Man was on the team, Spider-Man is still going to be on the MCU version of the Avengers team during Avengers 5 and Avengers 6. We'll also have gotten Spider-Man 4 before that happens, so I know there's lots of questions about what the spell changed with Spider-Man and the Avengers. It didn't change him fighting with the Avengers or being on the Avengers team, they just forgot that Peter Parker is the person underneath Spider-Man's mask. They haven't announced any kind of release date for that Thor vs Hercules movie that they're setting up or how many other gods are going to be in that movie. Unless they announce that they're starting work on it next year, they wouldn't be able to get it out until after Avengers 6 Secret Wars. He will be in Avengers 5 and Avengers 6 Secret Wars, and then after that they'll do that Thor vs Hercules movie, and then after that he pulls more of a Hugh Jackman Wolverine, where he only comes back every once in a while. But post all your predictions for that Thor vs Hercules movie in the comments below. Who else do you want to see in that movie? The only other really cool fan favorite slam dunk characters you could put him up against that people will get really hyped about would be say like Galactus, like Thor versus Galactus or Thor versus Silver Surfer as a character that they haven't introduced yet. And we know Silver Surfer isn't supposed to be in the next Fantastic Four movie. 
Big reminder too, my Star Wars Ahsoka episodes start next week. They'll be on Tuesdays every week. So be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss any of that stuff. Click here for my Deadpool 3 video about Channing Tatum coming back as a version of Gambit. And click here for my Doctor Strange 3 video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.